Hi, Big Dreamers. It's Eva Cartman, the host of the Dream Big Podcast Show, the place to go to learn, laugh, and grow. Today's episode is a short but powerful one. I share Brendan Burchard's famous power plant analogy and give you a sneak preview of an exciting guest who will be on the podcast in an upcoming episode. But today, this is episode 137, Big Dreamers, and it's time to dream big. My name is Eva Cartman. I'm part of a squad of super kids that are here to change the world. We don't believe you need to be adults to have big goals and start working towards your dreams. We believe age is just a number and you're never too young to make a difference. We may be young, but we are not naive. We understand that achieving our big dreams will not be easy. It will take incredible dedication, hard work, and yes, massive action. There will be ups and downs, but we embrace the challenges and relish pushing outside of our comfort zone because this is how we grow. They may not teach us these concepts in our school textbooks, but we are smart enough to know that the tools and tactics to achieve our big dreams are out there. And we are willing to do the work to seek out these skills and master them because we know that our future depends on it. We are the big dreamers and it's time to dream big. One of the most motivational mentors in the world right now is Brendan Burchard. My parents are huge fans of his and often listen to and watch his work. Recently, my dad stumbled across a video of Brendan using a powerful example of the choices we make in our lives. He shared the video with me and we decided that all of you big dreamers should hear the story as well. We'll link the original video in the show notes at dreamitpodcast.com slash 137 if you want to check it out and discover Brendan's work. Brendan compares people to a power plant. I'm guessing right now you're at home or somewhere where you have access to power. Otherwise, you would not be able to have turned on the device that you are listening to. The power that charged your device was likely generated at a power plant and then sent to your home. But when a power plant is first built, it alone does not have any energy. The power plant takes energy from a source, whether that's the sun or wind, and then transforms the energy into a usable energy that can be sent to your home. It is one of those things that we often take for granted, but the power plants give you electricity which keeps your fridge cold so the food doesn't spoil, gives you light so you can see once the sun goes down, empowers your devices so you can be listening to this podcast right now. Just like the power plant alone does not have energy, it generates energy. We are the same. We don't have gratitude or happiness, we generate it. In the same way, we don't have sadness or negativity, we generate it. We take in energy from the outside world and we decide, yes, this is a decision. We decide how to transform and transmit that energy to the world. That's why two people faced with the exact same situation can respond in either positive or negative ways. I'll use this opportunity to tease a podcast episode that we will be releasing in early June with Kyle Maynard. Despite being born with a rare condition known as congenital amputation that left him with arms that end at the elbows and legs that end near his knees, Kyle learned early on with the support of his family to live life independently and without prosthetics. Not only does he live life independently, he has accomplished physical feats that most people with full arms and legs would not dare to do, including becoming a champion wrestler, competitive jiu-jitsu fighter, world record-setting weightlifter, and the first quadruple amputee to climb, actually bear crawl, the 19,340 feet to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro without the aid of prosthetics. I can't wait for you to hear this powerful interview when it is released, but I also think Kyle's one of the best examples of someone who has made beautiful decisions on how to deal with the challenges that life, through no fault of his own, presented to him. He could have easily taken those circumstances and transformed that into a negative energy. He could have given up. He could have never tried sports. And by the way, as you'll learn in our interview, he lost his first 35 matches and still never gave up. Instead, he made the empowering choice to find opportunities. He made the decision to generate gratitude and happiness and personal growth. 
He understood that rather than be a victim, he can become a hero for so many others as an example of what the human mind and body is capable of. Big dreamers, if you learn nothing else from this podcast, I hope it is that your ability to achieve your dreams and live a happy life will be determined by that choice to generate positive emotions and energy. Even if you are surrounded by negative people or haters, you can decide not to take in that negative energy, but instead use your thoughts and mind to decide to generate positive energy. Have you ever got mad at a situation and overreacted and then said, how did I let myself get so angry about that? You're asking, how did I let myself? Because you know deep down inside that you get to control that reaction. So remember, your energy is a choice. Your attitude is a choice. Your mood is a choice. Either that choice is made intentionally or you're just reacting to the energy around you. My wish for you is that you make the decision to work on yourself so that you generate positive energy that will move you closer and closer to your big dreams. If you enjoyed this episode, then please tell your friends and family about the Dream Bib Podcast and again, can point them to dreambibpodcast.com slash 137 for this episode's show notes. If everyone listening can just tell one person about the podcast, that would get our show in front of so many new big dreamers, which I would forever be grateful for. If you enjoyed the podcast, please take a moment to leave us a review on iTunes at dreamitpodcast.com slash iTunes. We do read your reviews and it helps us to get in front of so many more big dreamers, which is my mission. If you would like to be part of the beta of the Dream Big Academy and get my free confidence secrets course, you can do that at dreamitpodcast.com slash beta. In this free Confidence Secrets course, you'll get over one hour of me teaching you about how to develop your superpower of self-belief. If you're a younger Big Dreamer listening to this, please ask your parents to help you get it. Again, it's completely free for a limited time, so please take advantage and get the course while you still can at dreamitpodcast.com slash beta. That's all for today. Be on the lookout for the amazing interview with Kyle Maynard, which will be published in early June. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to the Dream Bid Podcast. This is Eva Cartman reminding you that you have unlimited potential. Your dreams are not optional. You need to make them essential. So take massive action to turn those big dreams into reality. Live with passion the way life was meant to be. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.